Good evening, fellow CAW wrestling fans, and welcome to the CAW Destiny 3 pre-show. We have two very big pre-show matches lined up for you, so we're going to dive headfirst right into the action. It is an SEA contest. SEA, of course, standing for Sports Entertainment Alternative, I do believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. And it is a big tag team match featuring four of CS, excuse me, CEA's, SEA, yes, excuse me, three of SEA's biggest stars, a contest pitting the team of Vamp and Brian the Bull James against the Nightmare and Armageddon, and there you see, I do believe, Brian the Bull James, that massive frame of his. Well, ladies and gentlemen, a little bit of backstory behind this one. This was taped on Monday, which was yesterday, before it was Tuesday in Texas. And w when Destiny 3 sold out very, very quickly, sold out within a couple of hours, I do believe, a two-day ticket package was given to anyone who bought tickets. And so, surprisingly, about 25,000 people showed up just for this pre-show. What an amazing level of excitement we have for a contest such as this, an, an event such as this. Destiny 3 is truly going to be a milestone in the history of our sport. And there you see Vamp walking down, much to the chagrin of these fans. Not, not exactly the most popular SEA superstar. Ladies and gentlemen, what an impressive sight this Alamo Dome is. Just, just massive. It is just so unreal to think that tomorrow it is going to be packed with over 60,000 screaming CAW fans. It is just going to be an unreal environment. But right now, these 25,000 plus making a lot of noise, and there is Armageddon. Ladies and gentlemen, what a great show we have lined up for you tonight. Two big matches. First of all, you see this tag team contest to the, the participants entering at this moment. And then afterwards, a special challenge match between two of CAW's biggest stars. Pitting Terminator, former NCW, No DQ, the list goes on, superstar who has experienced success in each league that he has participated in. He, he needs no introduction. Going up against a former EWE World Heavyweight Champion in RoboCop. Big time challenge match from two guys right now not flying under the banner of, a, of any participating league, but just two big stars who just wanted to get it on here in the Alamo Dome at the Destiny 3 pre-show. Ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you as the executive producer that this event has been a painstaking process, but ladies and gentlemen, oh, what, what a result is going to be. Wait until you see this event for yourself. You've got to be a part of it. You've got to check out CAW Destiny 3 this Tuesday in Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, it is going to be a multi-league event that you will never, ever forget. I guarantee it. It is on the level of such great events such as Convergence, COH Crowning Glory, CAW World War. I could go on and on, ladies and gentlemen, but we've got a big contest here and the last of the participants entering. And these fans looking on. Boy, what an intimidating presence this man is. It is, of course, Nightmare. Wow, just, just so imposing. But then again, all, all four of these men are. I'm sitting here by ringside, just taking a look at these four men. My guess is there's roughly, oh, at least 900 to 1,000 pounds worth of men just worth of just pure attitude in that ring. This one is going to be interesting, and of course, like I said, a big match from SEA. They stepped up to the plate when NEW was forced to drop out of this event due to a scheduling cl conflict. We do want to send out a very special thanks to SEA for filling in on just on just you know about three or four days' notice. 
Very impressive when anyone can do that. And we want to thank them for taking time out of their busy schedule to participate. And already now, ladies and gentlemen, it's starting to get intense. Apparently, ladies and gentlemen, this is a tornado tag contest and not just your standard tag team contest. And we've got mayhem in the ring right now. Brian the Bull taking it to Armageddon. Excuse me. Nightmare now left alone in the ring. Armageddon's got to get back in there and help him. He's trapped in the corner. Vamp was working on him. Oh, my. Brian the Bull James now just choking Armageddon on those ropes. And, wh and on the other side of the uh, ring, it appears that, uh, that Nightmare is having all sorts of problems with Vamp. And as soon as that leaves my mouth, ladies and gentlemen, they switch partners. Ladies and gentlemen, forgive me if I am a little bit slow in this contest. It's a lot to process, especially... Uh, you must forgive me, but I do not watch a lot of leagues these days. So just please pardon me for any kind of difficulties that you, you may be hearing here. But I'm going to be trying my best to just call it like I see it. I've had a lot of experience at these destinies. And ladies and gentlemen, each time it has been such a fun experience. Ladies and gentlemen, just, oh my, just taking a look down the card. This is going to be, it's got to be, just by default. One of the greatest multi-league events in the history of this sport. Ladies and gentlemen, let's just take a few glances at some of the the uh, matches coming your way on the main show this Tuesday in Texas. Such as for BSP, an elimination six-man tag. Big Sky, Malifesto, and Bistro challenging Flames, Zero X, and Little Willie. Flames has got to do commentary later on that night. It'll be interesting to see how that turns out. Always interesting to uh, listen to a man compete earlier in the in a uh, in a show that he is also going to be commentating. Wonder what Flames will have to say after that contest, especially if they win. Taking another look, how about IAW Banshee uh, taking on Salad? OWF Worldwide Championship on the line in a TLC match. Rick Rancid challenging Chris Chambers. Oh my goodness, what a contest that's going to be! That could very easily have been a main event. For the HSW World Heavyweight Championship, Liu Kang will defend against Strong Bad. Just taking a look at a few more of the title matches on this card. CXA Hybrid Championship as MC Idol takes on Isaiah Kingston, who takes on the Unholy. It is for the vacant Hybrid Championship. And ladies and gentlemen, that's, that's on top of our record-setting triple main event, which I will get to in just a few moments. As you see Vamp with a chair, oh my! Taking out Armageddon. Armageddon got wiped out. Vamp right now with a Boston Crab on Brian the Bull. Can we get a submission here early? Oh, my. Good teamwork there as Armageddon cleared out Vamp. Excuse me, that was uh, Nightmare a second ago who had that Boston Crab applied. Everyone in the Alamo Dome looking forward to the show that's coming to them tomorrow. They're taking it all in here tonight as Brian the Bull is working on Nightmare. Armageddon brawling on the outside with Vamp. Oh my, Brian the Bull now with a chair. And you saw Armageddon. There's no shame in running away from something like that. Don't come unarmed to a chair fight. Brian the Bull now. Oh, a full Nelson suplex. Impressive power on the part of Brian the Bull James. Armageddon in all sorts of trouble on the inside as Vamp and uh, Nightmare continue to brawl on the outside. Right in front of the fans, section, oh, that looks like 3A. Nightmare right now with control over Brian the Bull on the inside. We could have a, we could have a winner here with the other half of the teams not even being aware of it. Oh, Brian the Bull was going to go for a backbreaker into a Russian leg sweep from Armageddon. Armageddon doing a great job right now. He's working off of this crowd. The crowd didn't show a lot of favor for Brian the Bull. And now we've got Nightmare and Vamp back in. All four men back into the ring inside that squared circle. Nightmare with Brian the Bull having trouble. And Vamp right now taking it to Nightmare. Nightmare and Armageddon really struggling right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a great match coming up next. 
Robocop battling Terminator, two former CAW world champions in, in multiple leagues. Terminator, in fact, this is not his first destiny. For those of you who know your destiny history, Terminator competed in Destiny 1 for the N NCW World Championship against Aquaman in a ladder match. Aquaman won that contest, retaining the NCW title. Oh my, as Armageddon hits Brian the Bull with a uh, rolling thunder. Nightmare on the outside with Vamp taking care of business. Oh my, referee got wiped out, got in the middle. When you're so much smaller than the competitors inside that ring, you have got to do your best to stay out of the line of fire. Referee didn't do that there. A lack of of experience, perhaps. And look at the power from, oh my, Armageddon. A sit-down powerbomb. We could have a winner. Referee's not getting up, though. Nightmare taking care of Vamp on the other side. And suddenly the momentum is all Nightmare and Armageddon. We got it. We got a roll up here on the other side. Referee doesn't see it. Referee did not see it. Too busy admonishing Armageddon and Brian the Bull. Oh, my. It is mayhem inside this ring. But, ladies and gentlemen, also let me add in, um, unprecedented in all of CAW history, a, the, for the first time ever, a triple main event in one show. It is amazing as we see a, a cradle over here. But from Vamp, oh, we could have had a winner. Oh, my, Brian the Bull making good use of that chair, clearing out his opponents. Referee cannot stay out of the middle, and he is he's just taking all sorts of punishment right now. Ladies and gentlemen, taking a look at that triple main event, the first ever in CAW history, part one main event, AOL versus XWD for the AOL World Championship. It is a cell match as champion Batman takes on XWD challenger Wolverine. Then it's on to part two's main event. Oh my, ladies and gentlemen, this one is just a recipe for a five-star classic. DMW Championship, 15-minute Iron Man match. DMW Champion, Optimus Prime defending against XWD Superstar and former CCW World Heavyweight Champion, the smallest man ever to hold such a, an accomplishment, the Scarlet Spider, Ben Riley. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been informed that... Uh, Amanda was unable to make the trip due to uh, having to work a show somewhere else in the country, prior obligations, but you know how that goes. But you definitely know Amanda's spirit will be with Scarlet Spider. She'll be looking on from wherever she is here in the country, and she will be rooting on her boyfriend. What a great couple those two make. Just two wonderful people, two wonderful competitors. Oh, Brian the Bull, again, the man is chair happy. He's putting on a one-man concerto here. He is the... He, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to try and coin a new phrase here. I would go so far to say... Oh, my, as you see, a backbreaker there. Brian the Bull James perhaps making a case that he is the new chairman of SEA Wrestling. A big flying clothesline there is Vamp working on Armageddon on the outside. Not a lot of uh, competition inside the ring here. And, ladies and gentlemen, I got sidetracked. My apologies. Part three, final part, main event, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, for all the marbles. For the NGW World Heavyweight Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I just I cannot spoil it yet. Because I want to save it until, you know, the last second. Okay, it gets the better of me. New Year's Bash was held on Sunday. By now, I'm sure all of you know, The Rock was the man who outlasted 29 other competitors in the men's ultimate elimination match at New Year's Bash to win the right to challenge here tonight at, De excuse me, here tomorrow night at Destiny 3. I'm getting my days mixed up. He is challenging the man who defeated challenger Theo Clardy, commissioner of NGW, two days ago, Brock Lesnar. What, what a great contest that's going to be. We've seen them in WWE before. Two amazing competitors, two former WWE champions, Brock Lesnar reigning and defending NGW champion, and making a good case that he has a future in MMA as well. Boy, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be such an exciting contest and a fitting way to end our triple main event. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot wait to see it. Uh-oh, we have Brian the Bull James with Armageddon on the table. Luckily not mine. Oh, DDT. Wow, he got spiked right on his head through that table. And that could be it. But 
but Armageddon's up. Unbelievable. Unbelievable fortitude on the part of Armageddon. He just took a DDT through a chair, but he's still up helping his partner Nightmare. A shot to the back of the head from Brian the Bull as Vamp having all sorts of problems right now. These fans on their feet. They have a, a sense, as do I, ladies and gentlemen, that this match is nearing its conclusion. Oh, my, how brutal it has been. we got to get a new table out here because we've got another big-time match coming up here on the pre-show. Armageddon is down. Nightmare now taking it to Brian the Bull. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I do apologize. I was handed no notes on this contest, so I'm just going to call it as I see it. Trying my best. Oh my, Vamp. A little bit of miscommunication there. Not quite what he was hoping for. As Brian the Bull gets another chair. How many has that been? Three? Four? He's used every one of them very effectively. Oh my, as he hits Nightmare in the back of the head. As he does Armageddon. Vamp whipped into the inside. And wow, a little bit of confusion there as Brian the Bull takes out his tag team partner. This one's getting so intense that it just everybody's taking it to each other. Oh my, as Nightmare delivers a piece of his own medicine, sends a message to Vamp. Now Armageddon and Nightmare on the outside. It looks like Brian the Bull has left. He has left the Alamo Dome. I guess he's had enough. I don't get it. He had he had Nightmare and Armageddon right where he wanted him. Why bail out now? This is insane. Now Vamp left all alone against Nightmare and Armageddon. I don't like his chances here. It is a two-on-one tornado tag situation now. Oh, my. A big right cross from Nightmare. Caught Vamp right on the chin. Vamp is running out of gas here. And Armageddon with him set up. Setting him up up high. Oh, my. What a, what a devastating suplex that was. Hard to the canvas. Oh my, just a twist of the neck. And oh, a big sit down powerball from Nightmare. The cover, the count, and the victory. He got him. Your winners, Armageddon and Nightmare. Looking impressive here at the Destiny 3 pre show. What a well fought contest for them. But it, you have to imagine it would have been different if Brian the Boy had stayed at ringside. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're moving straight into our second contest. And this is the one that a lot of people have been looking forward to. And you hear the music. You know his name. Oh, and coming out on his brand new Harley. He is the T-800. He is the Terminator. And he's looking to fire up here against a longtime rival of his in RoboCop. This is a feud that has spanned roughly 15 years, ladies and gentlemen. Ever since the days of the mid-90s, these two, the, the debate has always been there. Who would be the superior in a fight? RoboCop or the Terminator? And right now, ladies and gentlemen, in a couple of moments, we are going to get our answer. These fans on their feet making all sorts of noise for the Terminator. A legend in NCW and no DQ and countless other CAW leagues. A man who really needs no introduction, as does his opponent, Robocop. Their accomplishments are very well known here in the CAW world. And how appropriate they battle it out and settle the score once and for all at Destiny 3. And here comes his opponent. Alex Murphy no more. All that remains is this man. Former EWE champion, Robocop. And these fans are blowing the top off the Alamo Dome. 
all 25,000 who came here just for the pre-show right now being so thankful that they came. And there's about 40,000 more that would have wished they'd have been here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is just so many accolades for these two men. Robocop, we all worried about him. We thought he was done for, sent into an alternate reality by Parallax. But he is back. He is back and here to settle an old grudge with an old rival. Bell's gone. We are underway. Robocop and Terminator. Gonna stare down in the middle of the ring. Your move, creep. And some trash talking from Robocop. Terminator swings first. He's blocked. Robocop swings. Blocked. A right hand from Terminator. Another one. A third one. Robocop in trouble. Oh, wound up for that one. He telegraphed it and Robocop coming back. No. Another big clothesline there. A big right hand. Terminator off the ropes. Car double type. No. Another car double type blocked. Robocop now. The aggressor. Right hand. Another. A third. And a big axe handle blow right there. Robocop's putting so much force behind those blows. Both of these men are. And Terminator is rocked in the corner. Here comes the former EWE champion. Some big right hands there. And oh my, can Robocop bring the lumber as far as striking? Well, both men can. They are just so equal here. Terminator's going to have the speed advantage, arguably. But you have to imagine, as far as technical awareness, Robocop has to have the upper hand. As we get a hook of the leg here, two, and no. Robocop up at two. You have to imagine Robocop kind of holds a strategy advantage here. He is still, even though you see, all, he is part man. He is part machine. But ladies and gentlemen, that, that human mind of his, that, that edge, that strategy edge, has got to go to him. Terminator just going by mission parameters. Robocop going by heart and soul. And it's, you see a big bear hug there. Terminator making his presence known off the ropes. Oh, big back body drop. Robocop saw that one coming, and there is that, that strategy edge. Robocop, oh, a big fireman's carry. Went for a cover, no count. Terminator, that just frustrated him. Oh, my, got caught. Robocop did in a back body drop, and now we've got a full mount and just big right hands punishing Robocop. Terminator now has snatched back the advantage as you see another big short arm clothesline. And look at that, just muscling Robocop up. Robocop has to weigh around six to 700 pounds with that machinery all over him. And right now he had him in a chokehold. Referee had to admonish him there. Robocop coming back though. Another right hand from him. He's got to do something because Terminator's got the advantage. Robocop trying to come back with some power, trying to buy himself some time to catch a breather. Irish whip from Terminator. Countered by Robocop. Carnival tie-up. Irish whip again from Terminator. Another counter from Robocop. This one is intense. These fans taking it all in. Not a single person is in the concession stand. Not a single person is talking to one another. They are completely focused on this bout. Some more right hands from Robocop. A comeback. Here comes Terminator, though. No man can really get an edge. It's a toss-up. Oh, my. What a big hip toss, and referee wasn't looking. He got wiped out. Terminator helping him back up, though. Big mistake. Robocop saw an opening, and he took it with a German suplex. Robocop here. Looking to maybe put the finishing touches on it. He, if he can end it early, that'll be a big advantage. A German suplex. A second one. And still got a hold in of a third one. And that could do it. It could be over. Robocop does not make the cover. Oh, he's going to do it again. A fourth. A fifth. And... German suplex number six. That's got to do it. It's over. Robocop is your winner. Not even a two count. Are you kidding me? Six German suplexes, and the Terminator gets up at one. Robocop, though, you've got to give him credit here. Was not frustrated, was not flustered. He went to the side headlock, but now Terminator trying to get that advantage back away. 
A shoulder charge there missed. A big boot from the Terminator misses. Right now, oh, Robocop surprisingly outmaneuvering the Terminator. A side headlock now. Robocop a chance to regain his bearings. And another German suplex. How many of those can Terminator take? Robocop now with the advantage. The former EWE champion, a champion taking it to the no DQ legend. And what have we got here? Oh my, a gory special. Terminator being just ripped apart at the torso. But down he goes. He did not quit. You're not going to see one of these two men quit. Or should I say the two machines? Well, whichever. Robocop still with the advantage. Just look at him bury those right hands into the face of the Terminator. Oh, and over the, uh, over the, uh, to the outside, 360, over the ropes. And now these two brawling on the outside. Referee with a 20 count to work with. Robocop, oh my, just slung him and he hit the ring post. If two regular men were going through this, you'd be looking at some permanent injuries. Oh, and look at this. No, no. Terminator snuck out the back door. Robocop stunned. But Robocop coming back. Oh, no, don't take out another one. Oh, my God. That's the second Spanish announce table that's been taken out tonight. Oh, my. Referees count up to 14. Don't let this one in at a count out. Robocop fires him back in there. This, this has got to be it. Two. Two. And he got him. Robocop a big win. No. No. No, he didn't get it. No, he didn't. Terminator kicked out. Unbelievable. Eight German suplexes in this contest onto Terminator. One through a table. And Robocop still can't put him away. Robocop's got to be losing a little bit of confidence here. As anyone would be, he's he's throwing out his entire arsenal as he's got a sleeper applied on the Terminator, but you're not going to put that Terminator to sleep. He doesn't breathe air. What are you going to do? Terminator, oh my, slinging Robocop, showing some power of his own. Robocop back up, and a big shoulder charge. Robocop has pretty much been the aggressor for most of this contest. Looking to try and put the Terminator away, but oh my, just when he gets to the brink of finishing this match off, back comes the Terminator. So resilient are these two. Oh, and look at these headbutts. Oh my! And Robocop being part man, that's going to hurt him a whole lot more than it is Terminator. And Terminator now just, just dropping bombs. And the EW, former EWE champion is in a whole world of hurt right now. Terminator, what's he going to do? Countered by Robocop. Guess we'll never know. Short arm clothesline blocked. Robocop coming back. And oh my! The Prime Directives! He caught him! This match has got to be almost over. Number nine. Number ten. Number 11. How much more can the Terminator take? This could be it. Oh, a rope break. Lack of presence of mind from Robocop. Should have dragged him away from those ropes, but now Terminator back up. That was just the moment he needed. Ladies and gentlemen, what a great pre-show we have seen so far, ladies and gentlemen. But this is only this is only a precursor to what to expect in Destiny 3 this Tuesday in Texas. It's I promise you, ladies and gentlemen, you will not regret seeing it. Check it out, please. All of these owners have worked so hard to produce an event you will never forget, and they have come through. They have lived up to their promise. We have got an event that could change the CAW world forever. And ladies and gentlemen, you are definitely going to want to be a part of it, just as these 60,000 fans that will be in here in the Alamo Dome tomorrow will. will. Excuse me. A right hand block from Terminator. These two, where are they getting the energy to do this? This has gone on for about 20 minutes now. Neither man really getting an advantage. Oh my. But Terminator still establishing that just intense striking offense of his. And Robocop is hurt. Hooks the leg. Rope break. Robocop. Look at that. Oh my. A big body slam. 
Great counter to that punch. And a big clothesline there from RoboCop. And he's got the advantage again. He has taken a beating for a couple of minutes now. This is his chance to get that momentum back. No. Terminator back up. Karna Botaya. Uh-oh. Just listen. Listen to those savage headbutts. Terminator through, putting his own body on the line. But RoboCop is unfazed. That helmet of his is coming in handy right now. Oh, those right hands, all sorts of them. The fans counting. This crowd split about 50-50, but they're all taking in this match. They know they're seeing something special. And it's only just, just a part of the experience they're going to have tomorrow. Robocop. Oh my, another big clothesline. These two relying on striking for most of this match, relying on pure power. Neither man with a real advantage, though. Oh my, more right hands from Terminator. Excuse me, Robocop. And another fireman's carry. Ladies and gentlemen, a couple of changes to the event, as you will see. Uh, POD7 was originally intended to do commentary for part one as Terminator has been opened up. He is bleeding from the head. Robocop sees his opportunity. Vago Man is replacing POD7. A win for the Prime Directives blocked. Here comes the Terminator. A headbutt. Another one. A third one. Break. Just listen. Listen to those. That is just sickening. And there is a super clothesline, nearly beheaded Robocop. Break. Oh, but a rope break. A lack of focus from these two competitors at, at certain points in this contest. It's really cost them. Break. Ladies and gentlemen, also, NEW dropped out, unfortunately. We are sad to hear that NEW dropped out of Destiny 3. But, ladies and gentlemen, what a classic confrontation that's going to replace them. As you see Ro Terminator... Opening up RoboCop, he's bleeding. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got one that is just going to be a certified classic tomorrow. I am sure of it. DWL's The Flash challenges Slamming Jam's Bruce Lee. Two men, two men who, if there was a real CAW Hall of Fame, they would be shoe in first ballots. Oh, and more Germans. Is that is that 14, 15? Robocop now. Throwing caution to the wind. He's wanting to put Terminator away. Prime Directives, no. Terminator coming back. This one has been unbelievable. One way, then the other. This one has been a seesaw affair. Another road break, and Terminator, oh, he lost his focus, got in the referee's face. He wanted a faster count. Robocop trying to capitalize. No, no, again sneaking out of the Prime Directives to Terminator. Robocop on the ropes. Crisscross. Oh, my. A flying tackle. Robocop in trouble. Dazed. And here comes Terminator. This is it. And another clothesline. That's got to be it. Did you hear that? The whole ring shook. No rope break. One, two, three. He got him. He got him! And Terminator has won it! Feast fans on their feet. Congratulations are in order for both men. Terminator are walking away from this one the winner. What a brutal contest this was. As we can take a few replays, let's take another look at some of these. Look at this! German suplex through the table. Ladies and gentlemen, the... The momentum in this contest would shift one way, then the other. So many times. It was just unreal, ladies and gentlemen. Just respect should be given to both of these men for putting it all on the line here at the pre-show. They didn't have to. They could have phoned it in. But they did not, and they have put on a classic. Ladies and gentlemen, that will do it for the Destiny 3 pre-show. Hope to see you tomorrow, this Tuesday in Texas. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, I am Isaac. Thank you for tuning into the pre show. Enjoy Destiny 3. Terminator, your winner.